What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome back to the Juice Road to the Show series here on MLB The Show 21. That is right. We are back to another episode. We are continuing in double A. Hopefully getting promoted pretty soon. We are pitching really well. We are hitting pretty good. Not hitting the greatest. But we are pitching really well. And I think we're going to get in the All-Star game because of our pitching. Um... We're actually getting pretty close to the All-Star game, if I if I remember correctly. So we're going to have to keep pitching pretty well, and we're going to have to keep hitting pretty well if we want to get called up and get noticed by the Atlanta Braves. Because if you guys forget, that's the team that we are in the minor league system of. So let's continue to have good progress in this episode and hopefully get that little bit closer to getting called up. So make sure to smash that like button if you are excited, the notification bell and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. We're on the road to 400 subscribers. So let me get there by smashing that subscribe button. And let's do this thing. All right, here we are in the locker room area, the clubhouse area. And we're just going to get right into it. We're 59 overall. Jim, the novelty oh, we of got this some rare player who can stuff. hit, defend, and pitch, it's got to be bringing him a lot of attention. And, you know, certainly the miners have that reputation of sometimes having a friendly, wacky, sideshow feel. I have to think this is bringing a lot of tickets and fans into the ballpark. Uh, definitely. I mean, look, you know, pretty much any day you go to the ballpark, you're going to see this guy might be on the mound, might be in the lineup, depending on, on, you know, when you have tickets. But this guy is always going to be doing something. I mean, I, I think it goes back to guys like Babe Ruth, who who were, you know, probably the most memorable baseball player of all time. And he was a two-way guy. Yeah. And that notion of a guy who can hit home runs and play defense and win games on the mound, everybody loves to see that. All right, so we just had a little quick uh, podcast thing. I think we're going to go to the batting cage this time, work on our uh, work on our contact, and then see if we can get that up even more. Oh, no. I always hit enter instead of skip. I'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. And we start this video off with a pitching performance. We are on the mound to begin here. And... We start with an out. Let's uh, see if we can continue this great pitching that we've been doing here in the past like month or so. That is not a hit. Come on. Well, second batter of the day is already a hit, so maybe we aren't going to have that great of an outing today. They're swinging at literally everything I throw right now. I've thrown three pitches. They've swung at all three of them. Come on, guys. Take your time. Look at your pitch. Jeez. There's a reason I have 53 strikeouts already. 54. <laughs> These guys just swing at literally everything. He's got three home runs in his last 10 games. That guy is uh, pretty dangerous, it seems. Ooh, nice. Nice placement on that slider. And he hits that splitter. Can he get turn two? No, we're just going to get the one. Oh, we don't need to turn two. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe if I looked at the outs, I wouldn't have to say that. Second inning. Ooh, I like the way this guy bats. He moves the bat around a lot. That's always fun. Johnny Francisco. That sounds like some sort of, like, super spy. Johnny Francisco. Oh, no way he get that cutter, man. I can't get any strikeouts. I got that first one, but, I mean, usually I'd have four by now. Oh, he went over three at two Ks yesterday? My man's down bad. It's about to be another K. Bye bye this guy can't hit anything. <laughs> if he's going 0 for 3 with two strikeouts last game, and then he starts out the day today with a strikeout, he is down bad. This guy walked last game. He won't walk this game. I don't walk anybody. I'll hit you before I walk you. <laughs> and struck him out. Let's go. All right, I'm starting to get my groove back. Had a rough little first inning there where a lot of hit and stuff. I mean, you just got to get warmed up. The first inning's always rough. Oh, come on. That third baseman is horrible out of here. There's a reason that I play third base when I'm not pitching because our backup third baseman is god-awful. 
I'm giving him all these opportunities to get these easy throws out of first, and he's not even getting the field. He's not even feeling the ball right. Wait, 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 wait. Can we hold on? Wait a minute. My man. My man's out here. No way. No, you did not. <laughs> no, you did not. You did not catch that barehanded, my guy. He just did it with such, such ease. Just nonchalantly just goes up and reaches his hand in there and just. <laughs> My man out here. Wow. You really, you really did it, didn't you? <laughs> There's no way. Wow. I cannot believe. And he caught it with two fingers. Look at how he cut. Look how he catches that. He catches that with two fingers. This is the ball boy of the of our dream. This is our legend. He's the chosen one. He's the ball boy is the chosen one right there. That's crazy, bro. I didn't expect to see that. Oh, straight heat. Straight heat striking that man out. He wasn't ready for the straight heat. He's four home runs. If he's second on the team with four home runs, they're not hitting a lot of home runs. All right, good job, first baseman. Getting out there and getting that ball in foul territory. Let's see if I can strike out my man here, Vic. He got lucky that he got a hit on me in the first inning. He's not going to do that again. No hit for you, sir. You will strike out to this slider. Like I said, I might as well be a Jedi because I just did some mind tricks on that man. Well, f we got four innings, and I don't, or we go three innings, I don't get up to the plate yet. Get that catcher, because I'm not getting that. That's foul? Oh, that's lucky. That is very lucky that that was foul. Ooh. Uh, that's not a, that's not lucky that I didn't get that called. Ooh, very early on that Vulcan change. You were sitting on a fastball for sure, my guy. Got him with the slider as well. Got him! Got him. Let's go, Booker. Joel Booker. You stand zero chance of getting a hit on me because I am the next coming of the babe. They already call me Baby Ruth. I might as well solidify it by striking out Mr. Booker. Bubba. -ba. That slider is nasty. It's got such a break to it. Nasty. Seven strikeouts already. Ooh, nice chip. I'm not going to get there in time. Ooh, no, he, he was safe. He was safe. That was a nice rip. Oh, you're way early, Matt. What are you sitting on? <laughs> I don't have a pitch that fast. Oh, that's thank you, Ump. That was lucky. I'll appreciate that one. And he got contact on that. No way. Why'd you take the hard one at second? You should have just got the easy one at third or first. That was questionable choice. Wow, four innings. I'm still not up to the plate. What are we doing here, boys? Am I not hitting this game? Are we in DH territory? We might be in DH territory. He's fifth in the All-Star game voting for whatever position he's playing. I didn't see that. I'm. I think I'm first. Now, I'm in the top half of the starting pitchers. I know that. I am five and one. If you don't, if you don't remember, I shouldn't even have that one loss, but I have it. Okay. Nice chip. Maybe if you didn't swing uh, at every pitch. Thank you for not swinging at every pitch. Maybe if you didn't swing at every first pitch, you wouldn't be. You'd have better uh, at bat, bad, better average. But these guys are just sucking right now. I got eight strikeouts through five innings. My man tried it again. That ball boy is a god. He tried it again. He went barehanded, barefisted. This man has zero chill. Let's see if I can do this. Ah! 
Got him. Let's go. I'm always worried about those ones. Yeah, we're definitely in DH territory here. I wonder why I wasn't up to play, up to hit. But that's fine. Gets uh, gets the game done quicker so we can get more games in this episode. Ooh. He was sitting on something different than a cutter, that's for sure. But maybe he's not sitting on a slider. He's got the wild thing uh, hairstyle. That's crazy. You don't see a lot of guys with the wild thing hairstyle. <laughs> And, oh, thank you, Ump. He's giving me some very friendly calls here. Some very pitcher-friendly calls. I'm painting the out, outside corners here, and he's he's letting me do it. He is giving me these calls. This guy's eighth in the All-Star game voting for center fielders. Ah, oh, this guy always hits me. This is, this is Vic, right? That's Vic Reynolds? He's my kryptonite today, apparently. I don't know what's going on. That's two hits for him. We can't have that. Nobody gets two hits on me. Oh, somehow he got contact with that. And struck him out looking, too. You got a man on first and you take a pitch like that? Not sure why he's taking pitches like that, but that's going to go to the right fielder and going to be caught, and we're into the seventh. All right. Keep me in, coach. Finally, my team gives me two runs. I've been working here a masterpiece, and my team just didn't back me up, and now they finally do. All right, decent throw. I would have had a better throw if I was playing third, but I can't pitch and play third base. I'm not that great. I'm, uh, I'm pretty great, but I'm not that great. All right, we're getting through the seventh pretty easily, like I assumed we would. One more out, and we'll be done. Headed to the eighth. If the manager actually lets me continue. Oh, easy money. Get there, my guy. Get there. Easy. To the eighth we go. If the manager actually lets me get the complete game. I haven't got a complete game this season because the manager keeps pulling me out. That one's going to be a first pitch out. I've thrown 64 pitches, so hopefully he lets me go. As long as I don't have a bad inning or I give up, like, two or three hits, I should be good enough to go for a complete game. Or they just deny me. Man, that ball boy has zero fear, man. He just goes after that ball. That one wasn't had didn't have that great of velocity on it, but still, he just goes after that sucker. It's crazy. I want that ball boy, like, in the trenches, man. Oh, no way he hit that slider. That's crazy. Oh, come on. You're a shortstop. How do you make a throw like that? That's frustrating when shortstops make errors like that. Good job. Oh, this is the guy with the wild thing hairstyle. He deserves to get struck out here. He made a chip to it. Get it, my guy. Double play. I think I was supposed to be covering first. I, wa I was covering first. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I think I was supposed to be covering first. That worried me for a second. That worried me for a second. Vic Reynolds is like a crazy man for some reason. He just hits everything I throw. Or at least make contact. All right, they're going to give me the opportunity to get a complete game. Thank Oh, God. Pablo just ripped that thing back in front of me. Okay, okay. Don't take me out, coach. Don't take me out. I got this. I got this. I can handle this. I've been in tougher situations, and I've gotten out of them. All right, that's a double, I would think. There it is. No, it's just, he's got 84 speed. I didn't realize he had 84 speed. All right, that's okay. That is perfectly okay. Because now we can get a double play to end the game. And who doesn't love double plays to end the game? Oh, umpire, thank you. You are continuing to be consistent, and I got the strikeout. One more out, and the complete game is here. And ah, got through him. It's okay. It's okay. Don't screw this up. Okay, good job. It's okay. Calm. No, don't take me out. No. Don't take me out, man. 
themselves. Let me finish. I'm a, I'm responsible for these runs. Let me finish the game. Now here comes the skipper out of the first base. There was one out left. And we're going to see a pitching change. Is that all right, so after that disappointing pitching performance, not because we played bad or pitched bad, because they took me out with a out left in the bottom of the ninth and didn't let me get the complete game, that just, oh, man, I am fuming after that. They didn't let me get the complete game when I had one. I had control of the situation, man. I knew what I was doing. Man, I mean, we got the win, but I don't care about getting the win. Why is that down? That's so stupid. I didn't. Ugh, these games are frustrating me right now. I am getting frustrated, and I don't like it. I want to chip that right out of the ballpark. 385 in my last four games. I didn't swing. Come on. What are you doing? That's up in the air and caught by the shortstop. It's okay. It's okay. We're up 3 2. We need to keep racking up W's. Oh, come on. I What? I swung and missed on a pitch I knew was coming. Wow. I really am down bad, aren't I? Oh. I thought that was going to be lower. I thought that was going to be lower than it was. So nothing happening this time around. So stepping in is Fisher popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, and I think that pop out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the hard play. <sighs> he chased well out of the zone, and as a result, didn't really put a good. I am down there. tremendously right now, and we lost. How did we lose that game? God, I am. This has been a rough episode so far. <sighs> All right, we got to try and advance the runner. I'm hoping. I've been down tremendously so far this episode. Hopefully that stops here with a big base hit. And I was just late on that. I'm working on it. I was not sitting on a change up. All right, that's in the air. That's going to move a runner, which is what I'm trying to do, right? You're scoring. What? All right, I got the challenge completed. I'll take it. All I had to do was advance the runner. Can you please give me something I can just take out of the park? I mean, I'll, I'll take a base hit, I guess. That means I can steal some bases at least. Plus, it continues my hit streak that I'm trying to rebuild. Alright, I'm taking this base, Connor Pilkington, or whatever you pronounce your name. It's my base. Don't swing, thank you, because that's my base. They don't call me Mr. Steal Your Base for nothing, my guy. Alright, I don't like stealing on a, a lefty at the, at the plate, because the catcher, it's a little easy for the catcher to get... I don't know why did you bunt I didn't even realize there was two out what <laughs> why did you bunt in that situation I'm confused if I saw if I sat on that that might be uh, like a double or triple or maybe even a homer if I got good contact that could be the case right here this offense is going to the plate just pulling the trigger on uh not good enough not good enough. It's a tie game, at least, which is good. Still a tie game. Bottom seven, but it might not be a tie game if I have anything to say about it. Come on. 
Yes! Get down! Get down! No! That was good contact, too. I ripped that sucker. Top of the eight. We're at third. They got a guy on second, so this is bad. Oh, God. Okay. I thought it was going to come down a little quicker than that. All right, we'll take it. Got lucky on that one. And, of course, we're down by two again. This team sucks, bro. <laughs> it's just bad. Oh, that's getting down. That's falling. That is getting down. No way you caught that. What? Bro, I am down bad this episode. I don't know what's going on. Cliff, what are some of the factors that can prevent a young player from succeeding or progressing as fast as he wants to? Well, I think the one thing is you str you you think too much about your success. Um, mm -hmm. There's a process involved with this whole you know thing we're trying to do every single day called baseball. It's a process. You can't worry about the results. If you worry about the results, you're gonna struggle. I was in Double A with Rondell White, number one. You know he was we was going back and yeah. forth with, with number one prospect, number two prospect. He went ten for hundred. To this day, we best friends. He'll say, no, 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 I wasn't trying to get you. But in my mind, I'm like, you know, we're battling him. He wants to be number one prospect. But the pressure he put on himself was just so much that every single night was 0 for 3. But 0 for 3 was trying to go for a three-run home as opposed to hitting, putting the ball in play. Um, we learned a lot about ourselves there. Just checking in, Juice. How are you feeling about your situation with the Braves organization? Could be better, I guess. It's my job to help get what you want, Juice. Tell me anything that isn't ideal any time, and we can look at how we might work to change it going forward. Uh, I just never saw myself with the Braves is all. I'm not sure about my two-way player roles. I just never saw myself as a Brave. I can't. I got to get out of here. Uh, we can get you where you want to go. We'll need to be patient, though. Okay, we have no leverage right now. All the choices. All right, I can work with that. Where is the calendar? Let me go to the calendar real quick. All right, we are in June, end of June. Well, middle of June, technically. Uh, next episode, we will probably finish up June, get closer to July. We're only a couple episodes away from the All-Star game, which is cool. And we still got a long season to go. So hopefully you guys uh, are excited because I'm hoping next episode will be a little bit better than this one. I mean, we got pulled from a complete game because we got in a little bit of a sticky situation. I had it completely under control. That's That really set me over the edge. Like, I don't know if I want to be on the Braves organization if they're going to pull me in that kind of situation. So, we're in for something now. Let's let's see what, I'm excited to see what happens now. Make sure to smash that like button, notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.